Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA here, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the basic programming um, of your Jetty transmitters and setting up your model. So today we're going to look at your function assignment. You access that by going to your menu, model, and then down to functions assignment. Now if you've started programming and you need to make a change in your basic properties menu, we recommend that you save and start a new model. One small change will affect all of your other settings in your servo assignment, function assignment, and your switch assignment menus. Now if you decide that you want to continue on with the model that you have, there is a way to refresh your settings even though we highly recommend um, just starting over. If you want to refresh it, you go ahead and you hit this auto button right here. It'll ask you if you want to assign automatically and you hit yes. Now what the function assignment screen allows you to do is you can actually assign a function to a specific control. So as you can see, you can change the name of your function as well as change the control of your function. Right now you can tell that the ailerons are set up on the P1 stick. So when I move the P1 stick, you'll see that move. Um, and you'll see exactly what's set up on it. Now if you go down to flaps, for example, and let's say I want to change my flaps from this slider on the side to this switch right here. I simply hit the 3D button and I move over to the control. When I'm in the select input control screen, I want to clear out what is pre-programmed and I want to assign the switch that I want it to work on. When you're done with that, you hit OK. Now you can see that when I move my SF switch, it moves the flap control. Now let's say that I want it to actually work on my stick, um, which is P4, right here. Say I want to set up two flight modes, and I want one to work the throttle and one to work the flaps. I can assign that as well you do it the same way. So once you're highlighted on your flaps, you go to the control, you hit your 3D button, and you clear whatever you have selected already. And now I can move my stick to get it to assign. You hit OK. And now you can see both 4 and 5, the throttle and the flaps, will move the same corresponding stick. Say I want to run steering, and I need a separate function for that, but I want it to operate on a gimbal. I can do that as well, but I'm going to have to add that function. So to add a function, you simply hit the button underneath Add. It'll pop up your naming, so I'm just going to name it Steer right now to make it easy. And I just type in whatever I want it named, and when I'm done, I hit OK. So now you'll see I have steering set up. I go over and I can assign the control just as I did with the flaps. And I'm going to set this up on my P3. So when I'm done assigning that, I hit OK. And now you can see that P3 will both control my rudder as well as my steering. And they're both moving together. If you guys have any more questions about function assignment or any of your basic programming, um, please give us a call or an email. You can find all that information on our website at jettyusa.com. Thanks for watching.